Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have empathy, which means I can feel what other people feel. So for the last 24 hours, I've pretty much been nailed to the floor. Can't think straight, can't see straight, but I'm going to try and do this for you. Remember how I say pretend like your government is not there? Well, we had a 7.7 .7 earthquake hit Indonesia, and then the government told people not to worry. There was not going to be a tsunami. And then I guess you can guess what happened next. A tsunami hit. And so, I just want to let you guys know, since the political circus started in the United States on September 3rd, America's been hit by a major hurricane, Indonesia's been hit by a tsunami, but nobody can really afford any energy to pay attention because they're so wrapped up in the emotional outcome of a prefabricated divide-and-conquer scheme. All right, <clears throat> Asteroid Fight Club in full effect. Edgar McGregor telling us, yep, we better be watching Hurricane Rosa. It was a Cat 4 earlier. And it is suspected to go north, ranging anywhere between Southern California and Baja, California, Mexico. And so, we have got giant Kirk. People are saying, oh, it's no big deal, except for the fact that it's got a ton of rain that could bring heavy flooding to a lot of areas. I will cover that later. Because what we are watching now is Rosa. Although, this one here by... Hawaii also has the ability to bring tons of moisture. But as you can see, Rosa at its core has a ton of moisture that will bring heavy rain, heavy flooding, heavy wind to Southern California, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, and surrounding areas. And then it's got one right behind it. So that doesn't even count. Japan's about to get hit by its eighth typhoon of the year in Trami. Man, things are just crazy all over. Now let's do this rundown of, this is the GFS. You can see the GFS has it hitting here. The Euro has it hitting a little north or other than that. The FV3 has it hitting in the middle. The CMC has it hitting up by South Southern California. The NavGem pretty much has a direct hit on Southern California. And then the ICO brings it down into the middle. And then the JMA brings it the, the southest of, the, of them all. So we will now watch each one of these. <clears throat> and then I want to remind you to watch for the one after it. Because this ain't it, you know. This ain't, the weird weather ain't stopping anytime soon. Notice how this brings just tons of rain. So you're going to have possibly three weather systems. The Northeast Pacific, or the Northwest Pacific system. And then you're going to have the Gulf Stream, and then you're going to have, so that's the second one. Did you see that? So you got a second one that will follow. And then this one also takes a turn, but I would say it has potential to go north. And that would happen on the 10th. And so when I've been warning you guys for two weeks that the weather's going to get weird up through the middle of October, this is stuff I was talking about. Well, boom. See, that one has the, the Euro, which everybody calls the King Euro. Wow. That makes it look like it's going to hit. Boom. Very near Southern California, which would bring tons of rain moisture to areas. Everybody's like, yay, bring it on. Well, it's like a fastball. All hitters in baseball like fastballs, except when they're like 130 miles an hour. Then nobody likes fastballs. So this is the GFS. There, a lot of the moisture would miss Southern California. But see, once again, we have a second one that we'll be following, although this takes it souther and takes most of the moisture into Texas. So that's interesting, right? And then let's go to CMC Music Factory. What a world we live in, huh? I need to be funny. God, I gotta remember how to be funny. See, this is what the CMC takes it north again. Boom! Direct hit on Southern California. It's weird, I was thinking. If you had like a mid-Atlantic 8.2 earthquake that would cause a tsunami in the East Coast, you could have both media centers taken out in the United States, Los Angeles and New York in a period of a week. I'm only saying that because people kept saying Russian collusion, Russian collusion. So, 
well, then take that one step further. I don't know why the people who believe in Russian collusion aren't more interested in the weather. <clears throat> because the CIA and FBI warned us like a year and a half ago that weather warfare was real. Um, so, yeah, there's a second one. The second one also takes it right into... Actually, that's the one on the fourth. So we got like four days before this hits. And then it has the second one just kind of sit and spin. So you got the Euro and the CMC saying it is a danger. And then here's a nav gem with the direct hit to Southern California. Remember, I'd mentioned this earlier. The water temperatures are hotter. Uh, 15, 20 degrees hotter than normal. So, boom. I mean, that's tons of rain for the entire West Coast. And then it has one that follows directly soon after. So this is a very interesting situation. No doubt, I don't know, people should be paying attention to the weather like they're paying attention to that stupid-ass confirmation trial, in my opinion. But they're not. So, well, we'll do what we can. But on an empathy level, it's like having an earache, a toothache, a chestache, a headache at the same time. I'm like, oh my God, why does everybody like to be so happy all the time? Oh, look, oh, wow. And that one, the icon has, did we just see that? And even though I'm only supposed to be covering Rosa here, I'll break my own rule. I could do that. But I've been talking about, you got a giant, massive hurricane that's just been sitting there in the Atlantic, which is why I'm talking about the Atlantic earthquake. And so if that thing decides to go west, which is what Florence did, you could have serious problems on your hands, man. It was like having the west coast and the east coast get hit by hurricanes. In the same week. Wild. Although everybody's like, there's no way this can come west. I'm like, have you not been paying attention to everything in the world? Like, don't tell Mother Nature what she can and can't do. That's all I'm saying. All right, we'll cover that one later. But yeah. If you were in Southern California, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, surrounding areas, get ready for some wild weather action. And I love you. And, um, you know, we're a couple of days away from the annoying period where I have to remind you guys that Thor News is a publicly funded channel. And I survive off your contributions and donations. So if you guys want to go ahead and send those in ahead of time so I don't even really have to say that shit, that would be wonderful. Because I do do a fantastic job. I want to remind you, I predicted Hurricane Florence ahead of everyone. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying. That's why you guys keep me around. And then I made 60 videos because it was going to be as bad as it was. It closed 1,000 roads, and both states are still just undergoing horrible, horrible flooding. And just infrastructure is torn to bits. I don't know, man. Everything's kind of a downer. But I love you, and stay cool, and I will talk to you guys soon. I'll leave the PayPal link in the box. And um, Asteroid Fight Club, I am proud of you guys. Don't get caught up in all the he said, she said political bullshit because in my opinion is neither here nor there. They're trying to divide and conquer us all and they're doing a pretty good job. All right, but that's why we started our Asteroid Fight Club 5.75 years ago. Somehow, good guys, good women are going to win. Keep the faith. Peace out.